Courtesy of Russell Cobb, University of Alberta for only the second time in a century, the world's attention is focused on Tulsa, Oklahoma. You would be forgiven for thinking Tulsa as a sleepy town, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain, in the words of the musical Oklahoma. But Tulsa was the site of one of the worst episodes of racial violence in American history, and a long, arduous process of reconciliation over the Tulsa Race Massacre of 1921 was jarred by President Donald Trump's decision to hold his first campaign rally there since the COVID-19 pandemic began. The city is on edge. Emotions are raw. There's anxiety about a spike in coronavirus cases, but lurking even deeper in the collective psyche is a fear that history could repeat itself. Tens of thousands of Trump supporters will gather close to a neighborhood still reckoning with a white invasion that claimed hundreds of black lives. In this June 15, 2020, photo, people walk past a black Wall Street mural in the Greenwood District in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dozens of blocks of black-owned businesses were destroyed by a white mob in deadly race riots nearly a century ago. AP photo, Sue Ogrotsky, a Trump rally near a site of a race massacre during a global pandemic already sounded like a recipe for a dangerous social experiment. But then there was the matter of timing. The rally was to be held on Juneteenth, June 19, a holiday commemorating the day slaves in the western portion of the Confederacy finally gained their freedom. Normally, Juneteenth in Tulsa is one big party, the rare event that brings white and black Oklahomans together. But fears about spreading COVID-19 led organizers to cancel the event. Then came the protests over the murder of George Floyd. During those demonstrations in Tulsa, a truck ran through a blockade of traffic, causing one demonstrator to fall from a bridge. He is paralyzed from the waist down. COVID-19 cases surging to make a bad situation even worse, the city is witnessing a surge in coronavirus cases. Local health officials have acknowledged that the increase in new cases, mixed with close to 20,000 people packed into an arena, is a perfect storm that could fuel a super-spreader event. Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum speaks during a news conference at police headquarters. Matt Barnard, Tulsa World via AP, some of Mayor G.T. Bynum's biggest supporters began pleading with him to cancel the event. Bynum is of that rarest of species, a Republican who has staked part of his political legacy on combating racism. It was Bynum who shocked the white establishment by ordering an investigation into potential mass grave sites from the 1921 massacre, even as many Republicans accused him of opening old wounds. Faced with the prospect of provoking a fight with Trump, however, Bynum equivocated. In Tulsa, we protect the free and peaceful exchange of ideas. We did it during the last two weeks of protests, and we will do it during the president's visit to Tulsa next week.